Hello everybody and welcome back. Now you have not just joined a Skyrim Let's Play, this is indeed Farming Simulator. Very nice wander through the woods and we have come across a Daedric Ruin. I, am, I mean we've come across just a, a, a ruin. Um, yes, I'm collecting collectibles so <laughs> that's why I'm in here. Uh, Pasture Sovereign. There we go. Only six more collectibles to go until we have found every single one. I'm trying to find every single one now because I just think it'd be a shame not to find them all and we're in desperate need for some substantial money so that we can actually build the cow shed which is extremely expensive. Uh, so yes, if you're wondering where that is, uh, where we've just been, it's just here, opposite the sawmill, near to the train line, miles from the farm. Uh, but yes, yeah, speaking of the farm, we must head back. We have stuff to do here. Currently playing at times uh, 0.5, I think we should probably increase the rate of time. Times 5 should be okay. Uh, so yes, the uh, the cow shed, we will get some money back for the cow pasture that we currently have. Probably not too much. And I do need to put the cows into a trailer as we transition. So, yeah. Sorry, animals. Uh, then we need to go into cows. And then it's this one here, 254. So we actually probably can build this today. It's way overdue. It really is. Uh, we're also going to harvest some grapes today and also possibly do a bit of cultivation work but I doubt it I think I think what I'm gonna do is direct drill some of the fields and put some potatoes in that would be next year as well yeah we have to plant the potatoes in the spring so yeah really it's just a bit of cultivation work in the potato field and then we're done for the year and that could even be done in February or March so anyway let me just get things shifted here I need to get the JCB and we need to get a trailer so I guess I should also just find out exactly how much we're going to get back for this. 35,000. It's not too bad. Yes, they seem happy, but we're going to have to get them moved. Okay, so before we get the trailer, we're going to have to rent it. I'm just going to show you how much money we've actually saved by doing it this way. I paid £200 a cow. We've got 15 cows, so that's £3,000 in total to purchase them. If I had bought them, they're actually age 14 months now, so two months younger, um, it would have been £1,100, so it would have been over... Well, it would have been over sixteen thousand pounds to uh, to do this again. So I think the four thousand pounds rental is uh, is easily justifiable. So it's this one here. Very expensive to purchase, but four thousand pounds to rent. So we have actually made, despite renting, a very good saving. That's been a fantastic saving. So into the lorry. I know that we can only carry 12 of the cows out of the 15, but luckily we can sell them for what they're worth, what we'd actually be purchasing them for, pretty much. So we win. We, we win it every way. I guess you could argue that we didn't win uh, if you were to factor in the depreciation of the cow pasture. But it was fun. It was fun setting up, and it's allowed me to set things up. I wouldn't have been able to really build the cow farm without having any cows. <laughs> it would have been a bit weird. It would have just been another yard. So, well, it's um, it's a big trailer. But yeah, cows aren't exactly small, so we can only get 12 in. I think you can probably get about 36 sheep into here. Yeah, it's actually 36 pigs. 38 sheep. Oh yeah, we're also going to get a stump grinder today as well, hopefully. Need to get some of these stumps out of the way. Uh, so to load up these cows, we have to go all the way to the end here. Because it is just a very simple pasture, there's not really a, a gate as such. But I should be able to get them put into here. There we go. Right. Put that to 12. Move to trailer. Brilliant. It is listing them as 937. But still very good. They've increased in value substantially and we can get back an extra 2725 for the three which don't fit in okay now for the JCB just get a bell spike put onto here we'll just put the bucket back in the shed oh actually no the bucket can go over here we will be selling the wood chips as soon as the price is right We'll have to make do with a pallet fork. So, it's going to be quite big, which is the reason why I didn't extend this hedge. The 
hedge stops there for a reason. Otherwise I'd have to demolish it and that'd be just a waste of money. So we just need to make enough space, so this should be okay. And we'll likely buy some more cows as well, on top of what we already have. We'll buy them young though. We'll buy them at £200 again. Because we are, um, I think we are pretty much just paying for time. And we do elapse quite a bit of time fairly quickly on this series. Okay, so I can just go over here. Sort that out later. <laughs> and uh, yes, we'll be able to do a feed mix as well. So look forward to that. So we can't really recover what's in the trough. But it was only a bit of hay, very cheap. Not like what the total mix ration is going to be. So I better keep this trailer somewhere over here. It is going to come out way across the concrete. Into construction. £35,706. Very good. And then animals, cows. You see, the next one up is over half a million. And then we've got 722,000. That only does actually have 80 cows in it. Even this huge one. 45 in the one we're buying. So the difference is, yeah, just the feeding robot, but I say just the feeding robot, expensive machinery. It really does extend that uh, price upwards. So anyway, I think, sort of, like that is going to be the best place to put it. How much space do we need behind? No, I don't think we need any space behind it at all. So that makes it easier. Okay, and uh, over on that side, we do need some space. So I would say that will be absolutely fine. I hope it will be. Uh, better make sure I'm not in the trees. Yep, that sort of positioning there should be perfect. Let's go for it. Okay, so that cost me 2,000... No, sorry, 254,000 and 16 pounds. It looks good. No strange issues with the ground. Yep, nice and level. It's done well. Brilliant. Um, so now you can see why I needed the collectibles. And we still have six more collectibles to get. So that's going to be very handy. Yeah, £300,000 more to get. And look at this. We have more eggs as well. So that's going to be very handy to have. Uh, so yeah, it's actually the first time I've ever seen this in the game. Looks very nice. Should be able to access from this side. It's a bit tight on that side. Although we might be able to. Yeah, we can get into here. Uh, so yeah, that would be where we feed them, I would imagine. And yeah, let's just get them put into there. There we go. 12 cows. Happily in their pasture. So, unfortunately, that was the only use I had for this trailer. And I couldn't go for a smaller one because I had to just keep them in the field. We weren't transferring them to anywhere else. So, £4,000 spent. Uh, <laughs> still very handy, though. Yeah, it's that yellow car. So next we need to do food and, of course, total mix ration. I think I should probably do a bit of uh, landscaping, a bit of texturing, just to make things look much neater. So if I go back into construction, landscaping, painting, just adjust this camera. Uh, looks like there was still one piece of hedging a bit too far out. Can I? Well, maybe I can't get rid of it. Oh, there we go. Uh, right, so yeah, painting. Concrete. Increase the size of the brush. Should be okay. This needs to meet up with the track. Yeah, that's good. Lovely. That should be all we have to do. I don't think we have to do it. Well, we can maybe uh, tidy it up a bit more on this side, but I need to get the painting and uh, terraforming anywhere mod. I don't currently have it. 
because this piece of land technically does not belong to me, so we can't really be touching it. Uh, anyway, do I go straight for the bales or do I start to make the mixture? I think we should probably start to make the mixture. It would make sense. Because total mix ration is 100% effective. I, I think that it's actually quite good that hay is 80%. That seems really decent. So we'll just get this feed mixture on the back. I may even be able to use it as a bale shredder for the straw. The straw is required to bed them down and then we can make manure. But I just need to figure out how much we actually have to put in. And, well, oh yes, are we putting in any kind of additive? It would make sense to put in more additives. Uh, let's just see here. Let's find out the costs of these different things. So, pallets, silage, mineral feed. There we go. So it's a thousand pounds for a pallet. I'm pretty convinced that one pallet would go quite a long way. I'll go and pick that up. We will put it in. Here we have the pallet. So, yes, as I've never done this before, I need to figure out if it's best to put it in before or afterwards. I don't want it to put the whole lot in. <laughs> Imagine if it took the whole lot. That would just be uh, so wasteful. That should be enough. Obviously, it's 100% because it's the only thing we've put in so far. But we can always add some more later if we need to. That was uh, almost a quarter. So if it is about a quarter per mix, then it will go quite a long way. So next up, we have some hay. Again, just practicing so I don't know exactly how many bales to put in. Each bale is big. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I, I need to be careful. We've got to get some straw and some silage in here yet. Which could end up being problematic. Let's just see. Luckily we can go very carefully with it. It doesn't just take the whole lot. Okay, let me just stop that over there. We'll just see what percentage... Okay, so that's already 50%. That, I would say, is plenty. I'll now put some straw in. To sort out my driving. The straw is cheap. It pans it out. And then, yeah, come to think of it, we're actually going to need the bucket to scoop up some of our silage. Nine thousand liters for one of these bales. Yeah, we've got loads of straw. So not too much. Do it for now. Yeah, we might put a little bit more straw in, we'll have to see. Silage first. And I must say, I really do like how you can be so accurate in FS22. You can just gradually put each material in, each product. You don't have to just worry, it's going to take the whole thing. Probably did put too much additive in. Just quickly jump out of there. Oh, actually, no. No, it's looking uh, perfect. If I keep that going, we have everything in the green. Maybe not enough additive, but we do have some additive in there. Um, but yeah, I think we'll just let the rest of the space be filled with silage. We have plenty of it. But that's load number one. If we had loads and loads of cows, we'd be, well, we'd, first of all, we'd be using a much bigger mixer, but we'd have several loads to do. I have no idea how many of these are going to take, but I wouldn't really expect them to take more than one or two loads. Of course, I do want to get more cows as soon as possible, we need to start breeding them. There we go. 
So I'm hoping the additive is still in the green. It is, just about, so 2% of that was additive. Right, now to figure out exactly where I need to put this. And which side does it tip? It must tip out of here, so if I go around the other side, there's more space anyway. Probably helps if you switch it on, get a good mixture going. Okay. And then I'd expect it to be taken somewhere here. There we go. So yeah, how much will it take? How much do they want to have? You can see it appearing down here for them to eat. Put their heads through the railing. We can see what percentage we're on currently. Okay, so um, two or three loads. That was about a third, wasn't it? So three loads it is. Let's get it done. Okay, so I didn't have much additive left for this one, but it should still have 1 or 2%. Uh, it's something. Better than no additive. Uh, and yes, everything else is, uh, I believe, is good. We'll be checking in a second. Top it up with the silage. There we go. Right, so I think we will keep adding additive in the future. That is actually within the uh, allowable range. 2.4%. And yeah, I seem to have a habit of putting more hay in than anything. But, uh, well, hay and the silage are pretty, well they are, they're even for the, uh, the range. 38% hay, 35% silage, and well, more straw than average. So, just keep driving down here, emptying it as I go if the space left yeah I really like that instead of just dumping it in one place we can actually drive backwards and forwards put it in evenly but that is it I think yes nope <laughs> no it's just they've got a bit too much at that end need more in the middle getting there. Will they take it all? I'm going to say no. Nope. 15% left. Okay, right, so let's just take a look here. That is for... I can give them hay as well, but it wouldn't actually be effective, I don't think, unless they run out of total mix ration. So it's like a a failsafe, a backup. Uh, productivity is now 7%, that's good, we're producing milk. We have 5 litres. Yes, next we need straw. So, kind of problematic. Uh, because, well, even if we can use this, we now have 15% um, mixture in it. Really, we do need to buy a bell shredder. I can get in and out of here fine, providing no eggs have spawned. We do need to sell the eggs. The price is actually quite good today. 
as I established in the previous episode. Uh, so, yeah, let's just take a look. Well, I doubt it's in a sale. Nope. Let's just take a look here. Animals, and then... There we go. Yes, I, I would actually be going for this one here, which is slightly cheaper. £36,500, which we probably can fund uh, if I was to uh, sell the eggs. I think I will do that. Let me just grab the pickup truck. We'll take all... Let's just make sure the price is still good. Yep, still good. It looks bad. It's so it's amazing how um, psychologically it looks bad just because of the red down arrow, but it's actually good. I'll take everything if it doesn't all fit. I reluctantly stack. see what we can get from here. Well, we already have enough money. If the prices were like they used to be, five and a half thousand pounds of pallet, well, per 1,000 litres, uh, we would be uh, bringing in probably 80,000 pounds, 70 or 80. And the final one, there we go. So yeah, over 50,000 pounds there. Fantastic. Back to the farm and we'll go and pick up the bale shredder. And we must get on with the grape harvesting. Won't take too long. We'll then put the grapes into the processing factory to bring in maybe £20,000. Okay, so into the store animals once again. Uh, yeah, that one is cheaper. That's the one which I prefer to have. It's worked out very well. Uh, well. Even better would have been if it had been available used, but obviously it isn't. So I think I'll just get the um, same tractor. Get the McCormick on it. Seems like a handy one to have. There's my bale spike lurking I knew I'd put it somewhere. Right, so we'll just fill it up, even though we probably don't need to put two bells in. Put the bucket back over here. Oh, it looks so much better now with the shed, though. The pasture was okay, but we weren't, we weren't making anything out of it just because of the cow's situation. But also, we weren't even making manure, because uh, we couldn't put straw in. There was nowhere to bed them down, so it was just literally a piece of grass. An expensive piece of grass. Take these two off the top. Eighteen thousand litres in total. I think this will go a very long way. Brilliant. And then, well, I think we just drive inside again. Start the blower up and we can chop it. Although for this one it would have been better to put it in the other way. Okay, so this was the only place where I could get it to activate. But that should be going into the correct areas. Let's just take a look in here. Yep, you can see we've got straw appearing. 
very nice. And uh, well, I, as I said, I haven't, this is the first time I've actually done cows properly on this game, but I'm guessing we'd actually have to have a placeable manure area to actually collect the manure. Right, so that's looking really good. It's taking, it is taking loads. And that's it. it. Looks like it took exactly one bale. Close that door. We also have the milking parlour. Or at least where we have the milk tank. Workbench. So that means that the cows have had a great deal of attention today. The productivity should now just rock it. Oh, it does still say only uh, half full. Maybe we have to do one on each side. Okay, <laughs> so it's gonna take both of the bales. Probably could do it by driving through. I did drive through, couldn't get it to activate, but it was probably just my position. Perfect. Still space for a bit more, but that is certainly good enough. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll leave them to it. And when and if we have more money, we will buy some more cows, but that's why we didn't buy them today. We could have used the transport trailer, but yeah, it's just not a, a viable thing to do, I don't think, at the moment. We've just put a huge amount of money into them. So we must move on. We must do the grape work. Just get this lorry moved out of the field. That is a huge step in the right direction. And also this. Uh, it would also be good to have another tractor in this yard. So I, I think next time we have substantial money, I can buy that Matty Ferguson I've been wanting. Not sell any tractors, just add that one to the fleet. And then the McCormick can live at the cow farm. Uh, oh, look. Our third pallet has now spawned. It's taken a while. But we can put another set of three, another stack of three, onto the trailer. Whenever we do sell this trailer load, it is going to be extremely impressive. We have so much more per pallet than we used to. Okay. There we go. Perfect. So the harvester is just over here. Because I think this uh, vineyard did actually miss one application of fertilizer this year, we may only have enough to fill the trailer once instead of having that slight bit of overflow, which really is more convenient. I could have bought the bigger trailer, but it's just, we can't really afford to put any more money into the grapes. We've spent so much money here. Load number one. So I think that pretty much guarantees it is all going to fit into the trailer, which makes it easier. Even though it does mean we have less grapes. I will start the factory up today. We need to get those grapes processed as quickly as possible. There we go. They look good. Very blue grapes. So I didn't quite finish that vine. Let's go back up it slightly, just probably a fifth of the way. 
which one was it? I think it was this one here. I have a habit of crashing into the posts. Yep, this is the one. And we have four vines left to do. There we go, that's that one finished. There is a crow on the vine. They get everywhere. These trees here are the ones which are really going into the road, causing a bit of an issue. I don't know if you can just prune one side of them, probably not. So I think these are the other trees that will have to come down. They don't look quite as tricky as the other ones, they're much smaller. The trunks are much smaller. But I guess until I start cutting them down and trying them out, it's going to be tricky to know exactly how troublesome they're going to be. Maybe these are better ones for chipping. The final vine! Now that will be the harvest done for this year. Doesn't take long. Something which I haven't done is a huge olive or grape harvesting session in multiplayer. I wonder what it would be like having about 10 harvesters going in a massive vineyard. I kind of feel like we've got the same amount of grapes as normal, so maybe it was fully fertilised. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I certainly fertilised it once. I could have checked. But there we go. There's another 76% on top of a full load. Try and fit it in the trailer. That's the best way of knowing. If it, if it doesn't fit, then we have the same amount as normal, because it's only just over a full load. Looks like it will fit. Just. Yep. Well, that's a good job. How close to 100% was that? 91%. Yeah, so certainly it was fertilised one application less than normal. And it goes to show. You can really tell the difference. It was a mistake. I was going to do it. It's just they uh, ripened much earlier than expected. So let's go and take this over to the Great Processing Factory. 5,487 litres. Could be worse. Go through the trees. There we go. If roads had names in this game, this should be called Observatory Road. Just because we can see the observatory. It isn't even the one which directly leads to it. <laughs> it just, yeah, it just looks like it should be called that. Anyway, uh, here we are. Let's tip these here. It takes a while to get to the tipping point, but once it does, they go quickly. Uh, so everything should have been switched off. No, they were still going. So I, that is something I need to get in the habit of doing, deactivating stuff once I've finished with them. Uh, everything else I think is all good. Yep. And I could deliver wood directly, because then we could have two different uh, things running, two different productions running at the carpentry. So yeah, when they process, into the raisins and the grape juice they will spawn here we are storing we I think they're from last time yeah I think we still have some from last time unless they've already processed I'm not too sure anyway there we go thank you so much for watching everybody hopefully you've enjoyed the video and until next time see you again soon bye for now